Srijit. My name is Srijit. Uh, I breed guppies. I'm like into this hobby of uh, aquariums and all. I've been in this for quite some time. And uh, I got many friends in this uh, too. So a lot of them uh, keep asking me about, uh, not asking me in general, but they keep talking about these topics about breeding guppies and uh, other fish. So, uh, and uh, I just searched on YouTube and uh, I saw there are a ton of videos on uh, guppy breeding and things like that. But uh, maximum of those guys, uh, they just tell you on how to breed for a profit and, uh, you know, not quality maintenance and uh, how to go about selective breeding and line breeding. So I thought, why not share those things with you? So quality or, uh, you know, locally we know it as quality breeding and things like that but the proper term will be selective breeding or you know line breeding so line breeding first step comes uh, first step is the selection of parents you need to have a good selection of parents like uh, if you are starting some strain if you're starting some strain you should uh, probably go to a good breeder you know a reputed breeder spend some time over there and if you, you know, you know about that strain or you are just a person in general who just wants to start this thing. What you do is you go there, spend some time, look at his tanks and uh, uh, just observe his fish. Whichever strain you choose, just stare at that thing for like 10-15 minutes. Observe the fish. Okay, that's the first thing. Selection of parents is uh, some breeders, you know, they go for color. Some of them go for body type, the finish and things like that. So the first step, the selection of parents uh, means you need to, first of all, you need to decide what you want. Is it color, body finish or is it an overall package? So you go there, you select two fish, like a male and a female that uh, appeals to you the most. Okay. And, uh, you know, sets the standards. You can't have uh, full red guppies having black spots on them okay so and it, you may like those but then th those are not full reds so there are some standards and also there are uh, things that you you want to breed for maybe you can start a different strain with albino full reds and black dots albinos do not have black okay they uh, lack melanocytes so uh, let's go uh, what I was talking about is this uh, first you select your parents okay and then what you do is you get them to breed let's say they have uh, 50 babies maybe 30 babies okay and uh, by the time they reach a point where you are able to sex them it would be better to move the males and the females into separate tanks or uh, maybe like divide them move the males apart and the females apart because you don't want all of them to breed and that would be uh, like a line uh, like a bulk breeding setup okay breeding for a profit you don't want that to happen you we are focusing on quality and uh, selective breeding okay so you move the males and the females into separate tanks and now you feed them good and things and you get them big and then you select the parents for the f2 generation okay the one uh, f2 generation offsprings okay you select the parents for the second breeding you suppose we are breeding for high dorsals okay you select a male and uh, suppose five of the males and maybe two females have uh, the qualities that you're looking for they have good dorsals and out of the two females one is a little bit low on color and the second one is having good color and uh, a good dorsal size so you select that female and a male out of five uh, you'll select the one that has a good dorsal like yeah all the five had good dorsals but then you select the one with the best coloring and it has a big tail okay you select that and then you breed them for the next line what happens is uh, they have babies and uh, not all of them will turn out to be like that okay so what we're trying to do over here is we're continuously inbreeding these things 
in order to get some phenotypic expression that is stable okay we getting uh, to a point where things are stable and maximum if not all like 95% of the babies should have the thing that you're looking for now these things take a lot of time and uh, you know to get a trait that is stable it'll take you like maybe say a year or something and um, it's expensive too okay because all the other babies what do you do with them you don't want them to spoil your line so uh, generally what breeders do is they cull the things that are a little bit deformed and also some of them some of them sell it but uh, maximum of them because uh, you don't want things substandard things to leave your um, to sell like you don't want to sell substandard things because that will make a mark on your reputation so uh, main thing is culling okay culling now is a fancy word that uh, breeders use to kill substandard babies so they they don't spoil their line that's the sad part but it's there okay it's for the betterment of the strain so uh, now what we come to is these breeders they are a little bit you know they want to spoil their fish and uh, give them good food like extremely high quality food like uh, BBS and things like that baby brine shrimp and you can get away with uh, by feeding these guppies locally purchased food guppy babies will go for anything they're not like beta babies or angel babies that want live food so you can get away with that but then yeah growth color expression and things like that okay so all this makes their produce expensive huh okay so it's kind of like expensive when you buy it from these breeders than those people who breed for a profit so uh, but then you'll be ending up with a better strain in your hand to start with because all these things are expensive and time consuming to do so it'll be better to start with a good set of parents than to purchase substandard parents and then get them to breed and line breed and get yourself a good strain that'll take like a year or something because uh, guppy babies in order for them to breed you need to get them to around like a 2 months old age and that's when you're feeding them high quality stuff okay so and another aspect of this is inbreeding since all these lines are highly inbred there's a chance of inbreeding depression okay so maximum breeders what they do is they maintain two lines like you got a set of parents you have their babies and you choose a male and a female the best you choose two sets like that okay two males and two females to maintain them separately once in breeding depression starts to set in what you do is you outcross them like you take a uh, male from line a that you're maintaining and you take a female from line b in uh, outcrossing says four to six generations uh, should be the difference between the individuals that will be mating okay so once you do that a single outcross is enough to overcome in breeding depression once you do that you'll get a set of babies again start two different lines and um, it's up to you what you do with the ones that you had previously okay so all this thing makes these uh, breeders producers really expensive but it's a guarantee of quality and you know it's assured that you, they won't let out bad stuff because it's uh, the question of their repute also uh, new strains are developed using this method okay uh, like you have say a jet black and maybe an albino maybe platinum white you get them to mate and then you have babies i don't know the result i'm just giving you an example so uh, the babies then you see that some of them will be like their parents but then the others will have mixed qualities what you do is you take those babies get them to mate again in breed in breed and continuously go on in breeding them till those traits become stable that's how new strains are created that is why new strains are extremely expensive like skyrocketing prices 
so that's how uh, quality slash selective slash line breeding goes and now uh, we'll move on to the second one that is breeding for a profit or breeding uh, your bulk breeding okay what you do is you put a ton of plants into that uh, setup get parents and preferably the guys who do this for money will be doing like they'll be buying it from uh, bulk breeders itself and uh, their produce will be cheap so you, you start with an okay set of parents let them breed there may be some maybe bent spines in the offspring lot there may be some without that much of a color and things like that but then everybody gets a shot at life everybody breeds everybody gets a chance to pass their genes on to the next generation you have a ton of babies sell them make a ton of money that's all that's how bulk breeding goes don't feed them uh, many maximum bulk breeders since they're doing it for a profit they won't feed them high quality stuff they'll feed them a little bit you know substandard uh, food powdered pellets and things like that and that's how bulk breeding goes there's nothing much to uh, explain in that and uh, yeah i forgot about uh, one aspect in quality breeding how do you get to save your babies okay you can put plants but then uh, that'll become a little bit messy so we can use breeding cages okay breeding cages are things like built out of uh, net okay uh, and uh, they're uh, they're just simple cages they're built out of nests nets and uh, sorry they're built out of nets uh, where the parents they're not able to get out of the cages but then the net is uh, the holes are big enough to let the babies out and the at the same time the uh, net holes are uh, small enough not to let the parents outside okay so that's how you go about you do put plants in their aquarium also their tanks also but uh, you know plants is a good food source and etc etc but the problem is uh, you won't be able to categorize and uh, you know take out the ones that are not good because they'll be hiding in the plants and you won't end up seeing them and things like that so that's about it that's the first video on my channel okay uh, i'll be uploading guys i forgot to say things like like subscribe and comment please comment all your queries and all your questions i will answer each of them okay if there are many like i may not be able to go through all of them but uh, at the same time like when you post them but you will definitely get a response okay and uh, thanks for watching guys till next time